hello everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to make a 3d gold log animation using adobe after effects so before starting this tutorial if you are new to my channel then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon and if you already subscribed then thank you so much so now let's have a look what we'll create today So this is the animation we are going to make in this video. So first of all you need to open your After Effects. I am using After Effects CC. You can use any version and we need a plugin called Element 3D from Video Copilot. You can download this plugin from the link in video description. And I am using this two video footage. You can also download this from the link in video description. So first let's import our footage to After Effects. And now create a folder and rename it to photos let's drop this to here and another folder called logo now create a new composition rename it to logo i'm using 810 and 20 frame 25 frame rate per second then hit ok now create another composition and i am using hdtv 1920 pixel by 1080 then rename it to scene one hit ok now drag this logo to this composition and drag this logo to the logo composition press s to adjust the scale now back to the scene one here is our logo select this go to layer then select auto trace and make sure they have not checked this apply to new layer option and then hit ok now turn off this now create a new solid rename it to a3d for 11 3d now hit ok now select this go to effect go to video copilot then select the element now from here select custom layers then custom text and mask select the logo close this now back to the send setup now from here click on this extrude option and this is our 3d logo now close this grid from here and select this make this to size 2 or 2.5 now go to the preset and apply the gold material to here now create another and before that select this go to the auxiliary channel and select the channel 1 and select this drag this to here and also apply the gold and change this color from here select the reflectivity color something like this hit ok and change its extra to 1.5 and change its size something like 0 0.20 or 0.15 and select this and change this to auxiliary channel 2 and create another drag this to here apply the black material to this select this and change its size to or 1.7 or maybe 1.5 and change its size to 0 0.90 or maybe some something like this okay now it looks good to me now 
now hit ok back to the projects select the send one and press ctrl d three time to create its four copy now click here and right click on your mouse go to new create a new camera i am going with 35 millimeter and turn off this hit ok select the camera from here and drag and make this something like this ok now select the element 3d go to effects and then go to the group 1 select the auxiliary channel go to the channel 2 so select channel 2 and select this put minus 0.6 and go to around 4 second create a keyframe here and go to channel 3 sorry i didn't select the channel 3 so back to the same setup and select this and select the original channel to channel 3 now hit ok now from here go to the channel 3 and make it 0.6 create a keyframe here now back to the first frame make it 0 and also make it 0 press U I made a mistake so I just drag this keyframes to first and this to the 4 seconds so let's see the preview let's come closer ok now let's animate our camera select the camera go to transform and create a keyframe to the point of interest go to 4 second move this to here back to first frame you can make it little bigger or can move it to this set okay now back to the project let's animate scene 2 double click here again create a new camera here just follow the first step that i did in scene 1 and the same process i am doing this scene 2 scene 3 and scene 4 so you can watch this or you can just skip these steps So this is our last scene and now just go to 11 3 and then go to again group 1 then go to auxiliary channel and channel 2 select this make it minus 0.6 and create a keyframe here go to the channel 3 select this and 0.6 create a keyframe here also now go to around 3 second and make it 0 
also make this zero so this is our another animation now just to go to camera and go to camera options and then turn on the depth of fill now go to project then create a new composition and rename it to main then hit ok now select the scene one and drag this to here go to around two second then cut it to here press alt and right bracket key and then drag the scene two go to something here and go to around four second or maybe something like here then cut it from here now drag the scene 3 and go to this point now go to when it's finished select this something like here then cut it to this point okay now go to our footage we have imported drag the particle bokeh and drag this to below of all of this layer select this and press t to open opacity make it 50 percent or maybe 30 and now drag the particle stars to here above all of them select this and drag this to this point select this press ctrl d go to here and drag this to this point then go to here again press ctrl d to duplicate it and drag this to here find this slide and make it to here and again you can put it to anywhere okay now let's add our text close all of them right click on your mouse go to new create a new text and type your logo name or channel name here go to here select this and create a new shape layer like this and select this make it to alpha mat select the text press p to open position go to around something like here and create a keyframe here now back to this point and drag this to here now let's see the preview so this is the animation you can see now just let's create another composition for render and rename it to render this 1920 pixel by 1080 then hit ok turn on the title cinema safe action create a new solid with black now go to the shape layer this and rectangle tool and draw a shape like this now select this and change it to subtract now you can see this is a cinematic bar here now just go to project window drag the main to this timeline and turn off this 
now you can see that our main animation is in here so this is the animation we have completed this tutorial i hope now you can make this animation with your own style now i hope you can make your own animation with this tutorial so make your own animation and upload it to our facebook group i will put the link in video description and let me see that how you make is make your own animation so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure that you like this video and subscribe this channel so thank you so much for watching goodbye